Matt, you got to tell the story. At 14, you're in a KISS band. You, can you tell that story? I was in a neighborhood KISS cover band uh, when I was 13, 14, or something like that. We played, uh, we played some our local high schools, uh, uh, keggers, you know, whatnot. Yeah. And uh, my dad was friends with the head of the stagehand union in San Diego. So uh, when Kiss was playing there, it was during the Alive Tour, so that was 75. 75 yeah. We got to go see Kiss do a sound check at the San Diego Sports Arena. So I brought uh, the two guys that I was in the Kiss band with, Tim and Dave Mahoney to the sound check and we brought our photo album from our stupid kiss <laughs> cover band uh my mom made my costume tim's mom made his costume we built these rickety plywood platforms in tim's garage we made flash pots out of coffee cans and a, and a light socket with a little uh, flash powder inside of them wow. yeah. it was it was j janky low rent horrible uh, so, anyways, we took we took this photo album to uh, to meet Paul Stanley. We got a photo with him, and so you know we were sort of like, "Hey, man, we're in a Kiss cover band. Here's our stupid little photo album." Uh, cut to like I don't know, four to six months later, we get a, a cease and desist letter from Acoin Management, and we were big <laughs> Kiss fans. So, uh, Kiss used to put like the the logo from Acoin Management on their albums, you know. So we so we we're all excited. Whoa, we're getting a, a letter from Acoin Management. We've made it. And it was a cease and desist from uh, KISS. Because, oh, my God. Because we, uh, I, I, I think we just called the band KISS. We didn't, like, uh, actually, uh, th think, we didn't really think ahead there. Um, so after that, we had uh, KISS, in parentheses, imitation. It's unbelievable that, like, you're 14 and you're, you meet your hero and then he sends you a cease and desist. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the best thing.